do 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 What's going on everybody? It's the Enforcer here. Once again with another Jersey unboxing video. And this one will give you a twofer. All right, I've had one that was sitting here since late last year. And this other one that came in the box that I got with Ben H that came with this Stadium Series bolts as well as uh, the, the Smashville one. Um, if you want to check out that uh, video, um, I'll see if I can remember to put that up there. If I don't, my bad. Anyway, um, like I said, one of these is to complete what I got from Ben H. And of course, Ben H is the man. Good chunk of my jerseys I buy from him. So of course, check out his eBay store, uh, email him directly, any pieces that you may see on there, save the 10% that eBay would normally charge him, he's going to pass that on to you as well. Package correctly and succinctly, cannot recommend Ben H uh, uh, anymore. He is top notch, top notch, tier rank S. For sure. All right, so I've got two. One of them was in the uh, Sports K uh, bag or box that I had my All Star jersey in. Um, I just used that one because the other one I actually shipped off some um, jerseys to uh, Cookie. Uh, Cookie stick. I guess I'm showing. Uh, I guess I'm showing cards like a madman today here. Where Where's your card, Cookie? There's your card, Cookie. All right. I, this is the guy that I get my uh, jerseys customized with, Cookie Stitch Jersey. He's out of Portland, Oregon now. So West Coast, you're going to get quick shipping, hopefully quick turnaround, and, uh, and cheap shipping, or cheaper shipping. Um, in the States, he works out well. Canada, with postage and the way things go, um, reach out to him, uh, a check. Um, if you want to check out some of his work, check out that Instagram as well. So I'm going to go on and just open up this, this bag here because I've seen a, a lot of other uh, Jersey unboxers unbox this one and everybody's kind of gone uh, gaga over the, uh, the main uh, logo. So now it's time for me to do the same. So this one here was one I was not planning on getting. I will be very honest with you guys. I was not planning on getting this jersey until... Um, I think it was the 27th of December, went to a Golden Knights versus LA Kings game. The team was wearing this jersey and I said, you know what, with those super loud chrome buckets and what you had on with the white gloves, didn't look too shabby. I did go to the um, team store, asked if they had a, uh, a 60, they had it in stock which said, hmm, maybe I should reach out to Ben H. Ben H said, I think I have some on hand. Uh, he threw, uh, well, I bought it, but he threw it in with the all-star jerseys. They caught a ride, and here this one is. So, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to BS you that long. It is that LA Kings one. Uh, me being in LA, not a Kings fan in the slightest. But what I can do, oh, hold on, hold on. All right. Oh, the heat. All right. So. Um, out this one goes, and this one's got a lot of similarities to um, to what the um, uh, Vegas Golden Knights were doing with their sleeve, but these guys did it with silver. And I can probably give you a um, comparison of their um, retired Adidas white chevron kind of look. So here this jersey is right here. It's the old Gretzky era, LA Kings, the silver and black. When they, uh, instead of biting off the Lakers uh, early on in their career, uh, they decided to bite off of the Raiders in the 80s and the 90s. Um, kind of uh, stealing identities from uh, one uh, city's uh, team to another. Can't blame them. Hockey didn't catch on all that much until Gretzky got here. They wanted to show some sort of attitude here, so that's cool. I am going to go a little bit deeper into this. I am a little bit... Um, I want to give you some thoughts on, on this one here. The thing that trips me out here is they've got the sparkly, silvery 
sleeve right here, which of course the Gretzky era ones did not have that, but it kind of is like a Golden Ice one. I kind of wish in that game that I went to, I wish if the Kings were going to be wearing this, I wish the Golden Knights would have busted out their golds. That would have looked beautiful. Oh, that would have looked great. And with the super shiny, obnoxious people, just make people triggered, you know, all day. So, uh, neckline, we'll go on and give a, a, a view here, neckline. The two crowns on the inside to signify the two Stanley Cups that they've won. Um, ten years ago now for the first one, so it's been a while. Prime green, of course, and uh, the back blank, you saw it, I pulled it out there, It's there's nothing there. And once again, I'm going to get as close as I can with this super, super shiny logo right there. Look at that. Very interesting. I will give it that. And yeah, this it's it's got like a... It's weird because it seems like this was just a blank, silvery, kind of rubbery... I don't think any stains will get on the actual silver. I just worry about the threading. But it seems like they just plopped this down on here. And then that's when they went in and, and did all of this. This is, there's no really raised thing like the prime green. The gimmick on this one is the silver here and the shiny silver that they have in the sleeve. Um, as with many people, I worry about wear. I worry about throwing this in the washer. Is it one of those ones where like if a corner starts to come up, just like those, um, LA Kings one where they had the shield if you had that uh, that sparkly twill the, the the threading in there once one went it just ran and it just just destroyed so I wonder have they fixed this technology enough to where if you wash it it's not gonna bubble it's not I'm don't plan on wearing this all that often I'm not wearing this out I'm not wearing the only way I you'd see it is like right now and on a stream but I will say that silver in the back of that black it is eye-catching I will give it that and I will plop this one on and of course the silver continues on down on the bottom as well right on the bottom is silver I've seen um, of course uh, the hockey guy unbox this one I've seen Larry NHL recently no actually beforehand I saw BA because BA was at that same game once again wish we could have uh, uh, met up had ourselves a little uh, picture, a memento, but hopefully down the road, my man. All right. So let's see here. All right. And also what I will do here, because I'm going to talk about it. I'll do a uh, humble, humble flex here. Just, oh, don't, don't mind me dropping that right there. And um, this one here. This is the one that they recently retired. Uh, this one is a, a Drew Doughty. This one was 15 bucks at Ross. Not shitting you. 15 bucks at Ross. Um, it is still got the tag on it and everything. It is a, a arrow ready. Um, as you can see, with the difference of the logos, uh, there is no white in this one. There is a bit of white over here. And it is a muted silver. On this logo where this one is super super shiny as you can see there and then the outline on the black is is much bigger the sleeves you see it's more of a traditional kind of looking sleeve this one here the sleeve is more black going down on it here, let me see black further on down and then the black is basically where that silver is on this new one and the bottom as you can see it's it's more of a traditional striping this one when I do the up close you can see so um, I kind of thought because they had done um, this guy here for the reverse retro I kind of thought that we were gonna get something um, in line of like like a purple sorry a purple in line with this but instead they kind of shot like forward a bit so if you will hold on let me see let me get a screenshot here 
there you go. <laughs> Might as well kill two birds with one stone, right, guys? So there's that one. So this was this was the um, inspiration for the reverse retro, and I guess because of the popularity of the reverse retro, they decided to sort of quasi go forward with it. So once again, not a Kings fan. It's just I, I do respect the way that they put their jerseys together. I will give them that. So I'll put that there. I'll put this here. Sorry, Cannon. We'll get back to you later. All right. Um, yes, come on with me, friendos, please. So nice neckline. Dig this neckline. No, no strings. Thank you very much. Okay. No shoulder patches. This jersey never had a shoulder patch. Could probably use one, though, honestly. And then on down the sleeve, you see this silvery material if you have a golden knights jersey you know exactly how this feels all right and here we go we're going to go on this is probably what you guys really want to see this logo right here look at that i don't know if you could if there's there's no like wiki wiki there's no vinyl there's it's it's very smooth smooth until you get up here but i wonder about where on that so check out the crown there you go and we'll go on up. Kings. Took the white out of it, like I said. Looks pretty good. And then on down here, you see it's the red, and then it goes into that silver. All the way around in the band. So that's that's spiffy. And then of course you see the homage to what they had and the reverse retro sitting there, just peeking out saying hi. Oh, sorry everybody. So with that, we have one down. Um, I'm gonna go on and, and take this baby off because then I can wear the other one. So I'm just gonna plop that here for now. And we will get to the next one. And yeah, I don't, I don't cut these things. I just do them straight into one take here. Hopefully everybody is having a good, um, Good end of the week today when I'm shooting this. It's a Friday uh, Super Bowl or Superb Owl. The Superb Owl. Please, algorithm, don't hit me. The Superb Owl is uh, this weekend uh, uh, up the way uh, in Inglewood. Um, I already saw traffic is uh, is congested like there's no tomorrow. And there's a Hawthorne Airport that's not that far away from um, the stadium. And you're just seeing... Planes land, take off. Plans land, land, take off. It is, it's insane the amount of, uh, of things that are going on with that. So this one here, I think this was a AHL, I believe AHL, a jersey that I picked up a while ago. That is actually oh ECHL, sorry ECHL. Thank you, thank you, Tag, for telling me. It's been a while. I apologize, but course if anybody knows uh, it's still in the package too anybody watches us um, uh, for unsolved mysteries on on a uh, twitch uh, now at twitch.com twitch.tv forward slash uh, mf steve here um, we do unsolved mysteries and I'm always on the look for a train trains horses attache cases and people that look like Steve and or Larson that's 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 my name of the game right there so when I saw this one and of course Big shout out to um, to Neil at Post to Post. Uh, knowing what he likes, uh, he may dig this one. Um, I do see. Oh, it's, oh, cool. See some cool stuff here. All right, so this one is the uh, War Worcester 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 Worcester. I think Worcester Railers. Right there. Look at that. That's a very old school kind of look here. A CCM. ECHL, oh, hold on, let me get rid of this bonus thread. There it goes. All right, so you got the uh, you got the railers right here with a very, especially for ECHL team, very elaborate, very nice logo that they have right there. Of course, it is uh, heat pressed on, no stitching around here, but there's a lot of embroidery here in here. So you've got um, the, uh, the train, the rail if you will and it looks like it's it's hitting the brakes hard right there it doesn't like what it's seeing up ahead um nice little cross hockey sticks down here with hc with the puck there 
and really nice look. Uh, almost gives me that um, that oil drop uh, that uh, Seth MacFarlane, um, not Seth, um, was it McFarlane? Yeah, it was McFarlane from Spawn, the guy who made Spawn. Uh, he did a Oilers jersey probably about 20 years ago now. That the look of the the color combo gives me a lot of that vibe here. It is a um, this team is a New York Islanders affiliate. This one does have the New York Islanders logo on the uh, on the shoulder, as well as a cool one right here. I don't know what that is. I'm sure somebody will smarten me up about it, and hopefully everything will be good with that one. So that should be cool. And yeah, that was just a little bonus one. I don't know if I'd ever get around to doing this uh, solo or not. Um, that's why I kind of roped it in with this other one. So once again, friendos, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this, uh, this Kings jersey right here. Uh, I'd love to know if you have one, what you think in person, what that one is. I, I dig it. And also whether you have any ECHL jerseys in your collection. Love to know. That's probably the next step is the, um, is the uh, uh, minor league uh, jerseys because I'm starting to run out of uh, the NHL ones. But anyway, friendos, thank you so much. Have a good one. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.